Can y'all believe 2016 was six years ago? I feel old. It felt like it was just last year. Okay, maybe that's a little bit dramatic, but it don't feel like it was that long ago. Six years ago? It feels like I was just a sophomore in high school. How did time fly by so fast? 2016 is arguably one of the best years of all time. Especially if you were in high school or even a freshman in college, it had the best music, it had the best trends, and it had some very questionable but good fashion choices. We'll be covering all that today, so stick around to the end of this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deja, and if you're back, thanks for coming back. I appreciate you. You can follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook page, but without further ado, let's get to today's video. I get those goosebumps every time. You couldn't tell me nothing when I had on my bomber jacket, my choker, and these Jordans. Girl, I was, I thought I was stepping, okay? I thought I was about to be walking on somebody's runway. Speaking of these Jordans, only bought these to match with my boyfriend at the time, and we didn't even match. We were just like the same shoe, different colors. Like, what was the point? But there was one item one item that had the girls going crazy the green jacket oh my gosh everybody in the mama was wearing this it felt like every girl in my school had one of these green jackets and it might have not been the same exact jacket but it had the same style and it was the exact same green and y'all never took it off you either went school clothes shopping at the beginning of the year or you got it for a Christmas gift during Christmas, and from that point forward, you never took it off of your body. We would have had to pry this green jacket from y'all cold, bare skin to get it off of y'all. To this day, I don't understand what was the appeal with the green jacket. I never fell into that trap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not like other girls. And it was either a pair of combat boots or a pair of Adidas that y'all would pair this jacket with and it was the combo of the year. Like y'all would not choose any other shoe, any other jacket to wear for the rest of 2016. Speaking of combat boots, now I did fall into that trap. I had some wine colored uh, combat boots that I wore until the soul started talking to me and then I tried to glue them with some Gorilla Glue but then eventually I had to chuck them because the soles of my feet were starting to get wet. RIP to the wine boots. <laughs> Another popular clothing item was the off-the-shoulder shirts that most of us couldn't even wear in school. You had to wear like a jacket over it because we had dress code there. And then we had the crisscross tank top. Now the lace crisscross uh, tops came in all types of varieties. You had the short sleeve, the long sleeve, all different kinds of colors, all different kinds of styles. But you knew somebody who had one. I think I even had a couple of them. And there's another shirt. I don't know what it was called, but it had this type of cutout very popular and then you had the thigh high boots miss ariana grande had us want to walk around school in high heel thigh high boots okay and if you didn't do the thigh high heels you know you had like the thigh high flats at least but yeah the adidas track pants and then we had this very odd obsession with galaxy print galaxy print everything i had a galaxy print like uh bumper jacket i think i'll try to insert a picture here but I thought I was that girl, okay? I seen that at Route 21 and was like, you're coming home with me. And she did, and I wore the hell out of that jacket. <laughs> now, I'm not really a makeup guru or anything like that, but y'all had those thick ass 2016 browns. Why are y'all walking around like that? Y'all oh, answer, qu answer the question. Stop clicking away. Why did y'all walk around with those thick brick eyebrows? Next item is the t-shirt dresses. You had to at least have one. I never really understood the hype behind the checkered vans. These shits are ugly. Why would you want to wear these? A checkerboard? A checkerboard? Not just the checker vans. These vans were pretty big as well. Vans in itself during 2016 was a big deal. Everybody had a pair. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white van. Thrasher was a huge brand. Every guy seemed to have had like this specific shirt. Oh my God. And there's this one shirt that I absolutely hate it when I seen a girl put it on. It was one of those very fast fashion type of shirts. 2016 hands down had some of the best music. You cannot convince me otherwise. We had Kanye West, The Life of Pablo. We had Ariana Grande's Dangerous Woman. We had Rihanna Anti, Beyonce's Lemonade, Chance the Rapper, The Coloring Book, and we had Young Thug's Jeffrey. But there was two artists that single-handedly was carrying 2016 with their albums. Two artists 
that had 2016 in a freaking chokehold, okay? Rihanna with anti and Drake with views, y'all. When Rihanna dropped anti, she didn't need to do any more music. I don't know why I keep harassing this lady talking about so. Where's the music? Back to the point. Anti was such a good project. I didn't need another song from Rihanna. Six years later, I still bummed Anti. It's a no skip album for me. Rihanna dropped Anti, which had the song Work on it, which was featuring Drake. And that song had everybody gyrating and rolling their hips. Now on the other side of that, we had Drake and his album Views, Controller, and One Dance. The girls on Musical.ly was going crazy. Everybody thought they could belly dance. And then we had Hotline Bling that was like a freaking song that united everybody because everybody of every race was singing it. Single-handedly ended racism. Now, although Drake and Rihanna was really huge during that year, one song was very big during that time. You could not escape it. Any party, any club, anywhere you walked into, this song was playing. You got in somebody's car, it was probably playing. You turn on the radio, it was likely playing. I could play a snippet of it and you'll immediately know what song I'm talking about. <laughs> See, told you, all you needed was a snippet. The song is Panda by Designer. That song was drugs. What did he put in it? Crack? You had boys going down the highway talking about some one guy that would not stop doing it that came that became his personality for like the next few months and i was just like someone get this man some therapy like something's going on designer will go down in history for that song he is a staple of 2016 for sure we had broccoli we had caroline we had kevin gates two phones and although trap soul from bryson tiller dropped in 2015 it still was being played well into 2016. Tell me what your favorite song of 2016 was. Drop it down in the comments below. I want to know so I can go back and listen to it and feel that nostalgia all over again. One trend that everybody was getting in on was the mannequin challenge. Now, if you don't know what the mannequin challenge was, grow up. Now nah, I'm playing. I'll be nice and explain it to you. So basically you just act like a mannequin. That's literally it. They played the song Black Beatles by Ray Shrimmett and you literally just stand there. It was really funny and it was all in good fun and innocent challenge that everybody can get in on. We had the infamous bottle flip that I still cannot perfect to this day. We had the dab. <laughs> Looking back, that's some cheesy ass shit. The infamous fidget spinner, which has now been replaced by the fidget toy. We also had Pokemon Go during that time. Now I have a question. Why were y'all out here getting hit by vehicles over a virtual game? Y'all were out here getting hit by a car for a virtual game. And these were adults too that were that were doing this. this, this these weren't even teenagers participating. I ain't thinking I high. There was this popular app named Musical.ly that has since turned into TikTok. And y'all might know Miss Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio and Addison Ray, But back in 2016, I knew Baby Ariel, Ari, and Miss Lauren Gray. They were the blueprint on that Musical.ly app, especially Baby Ariel. Who Charlie D'Amelio is today is who Baby Ariel was back in 2016 when Musical.ly was at its peak. I couldn't really perfect that kind of Musical.ly video, so I kind of just stayed over and dub smashed and danced on dub smash. Um, dub smash was a really big thing in 2016 as well. Between 2015 and 2016, it was a pretty big deal. It seemed like everybody in their mama was rocking that dog filter in 2016. You could not escape that dog filter during that time. And usually Snapchat filters go away after a while, but they still have that dog filter to this day. And second to that would be that flower crown. And I'm just gonna show you some other filters during that time that was really popular. You had the deer, just for a little bit of nostalgia. <laughs> now, I'm not entirely sure when Kick died off. Kick is a text messaging app. It was really big for a couple years in the 2010s. I think it kind of died around 2016, going into 2017. But that was a that was a time, okay? We all know that one person that would be on Kick when they got upset and they would change their picture to all black and then they would change their name to like a dot or they'll change it to something like don't talk to me or don't hit me up after their boyfriend pissed them off or something. And I'm just like, oh my God. Okay, I'm guilty. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because it's like a good memory up there. I, 
I know y'all remember. There was so much that happened in 2016. And I could do a part two if you guys would like one. If you do, leave a broccoli dedicated to the song Broccoli inside of the comments. Overall, 2016 was a great year. People still talk about summer 2016 and year 2016 till this day. And it's just, it's just one of those time periods where I feel like everything was going good, you know? Everything for the most part was going well. All right, guys, that's all I have for today's video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I really appreciate all you guys' support. Let's get me to 1,000 subscribers before the end of November. Don't forget to check out my recent videos or my other videos from way in the past. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, on this channel, I do commentary and sometimes comedic commentary. So if you're looking into that, you want to subscribe to a new fresh channel on YouTube, holla at your girl. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to your girl. <laughs> Again, I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.